Hello everyone, Draven Aaron's Productions here, and today, welcome to another review. And this is the package that I got from Amazon last week on Saturday. So it's already open it, and I take a, I took a look and I took I took a little peek on the item. So I guess you might know who this character is. So today. We're going to be taking a look at on the Thomas and Friends motorized Paxton. I got Paxton on Amazon and I really wanted to get my hands on the Henry and Winston, but I couldn't even find it anywhere on Amazon, so I had to go with Paxton, but I will try to find it next month. Anyway, so here's Paxton with the slate car, and that's how basically how the front really is, and then the underneath the bottom, and then the back itself. When I first saw this back in 2020, in December or something, I am very, I was very excited and very happy that Mattel is able to make a character which is friendly, like this guy. Anyways, let's get it open. I had no idea why the cardboard is like that. Alright, it's open and out comes Paxton and the slate car. And out it go. And I'm not going to take out the instructions j just because. Anyway, that's everything out. So, let's take a look at this guy. As you already know, Paxton first appeared in Day of the Diesels. And then he got a bigger role in Blue Mountain Mystery. Anyways, let's take a look at Paxton. He looks really good on his face with the white pupils. He looks absolutely really good, I tell ya. Oh yeah, and he also had buffer detailing, which is nice. And I do like how his side really is. Looks amazing. And for the side rods, even though they're fake side rods at this point, which I don't mind how they do this. And they're painted kind of like a reddish orange color. I couldn't even tell, but it, it's more like a reddish color. Same for his buffer beam. He looks pretty good. Same for the top. No, it's unfocused. There we go. And for the back, it's basically just nothing, of course. And his buffer beam isn't detailed, which is kind of a little bit of a disappointment, but oh well. I might have to paint the buffer beam in, in red someday. And then the, the other side is exactly the same. And I do see a little bit of dirt on there, so I don't mind how, it, how the Paxton really is. The reason why I decided to have this Paxton because I need a motorized, I need a motorized Paxton because I need, I need a motorized Paxton just because or something like that. Because I do have a push along Paxton and I don't have to I don't have time to show it to you for just a second. But the the reason why I decided to have this Paxton is because I needed a Paxton for Trackmaster. So yeah, that's Paxton the Diesel. Now let's take a look at this slate car. 
So the slate car is yellow and it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. So, uh, yeah, and it has the same little pegs that you have seen before. And about for the slate that comes with it. I think it looks absolutely nice here. I mean, I have to agree with Thompson Friends 47. This looks actual real slate. And I have to agree with him on that. I really do like those little blue specks. And it is a really nice touch onto the slate car. Onto the slate. So yeah, that's the slate car with the slate. Now with that out of the way, let's give him a battery. And it works, which is awesome. So, yay. It's really nice. And before that I could get onto the run, let me get my thoughts. Do I recommend by getting the Thompson Friends motorized Paxton? Of course, if you don't even have a, a, if you don't have Paxton for Trackmaster, then I suggest that you should get it from Motorized because, because this will be the first time if you get a Paxton like this. And if you already had a classic Trackmaster Paxton, that's absolutely fine. So for that, I am going to give this motorized Paxton probably like about a 10 out of 10 it is a pretty good it is a pretty good item anyway now onto the run section in three two one go
And that's the run for the, the new Thompson Friends motorized Paxton. I think he is an absolute an absolute awesome and a pretty good item. He looks absolutely pretty good, despite for a few nitpicks. So yeah, but still, he's a he's a pretty good item. He is a pretty good item. So yeah, that's the run and, and review on the Thompson Friends Motorized Paxton. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell icon in one of my latest uploads. Anyways. That's the review on the motorized Paxton, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Draven Arts Productions, signing out.